Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Stitch and thank you so much for tuning in. Today's post, I am throwing some more A's to your Q's. So somebody asked me how I store my traced sewing magazine patterns and I'm just going to show you a snippet of my process here today. This is a pattern that I finished off with and all I need is the actual pattern pieces themselves and some paper clips. What I like to do is to lay down the patterns and you'll notice there that my pattern pieces don't have any seam allowances. You know, it's kind of how I roll. I like to lay my pattern pieces on one on top of the other, starting off with the largest pattern pieces at the bottom. And I like to have the smaller pattern pieces right in the middle because the idea is that I'm going to fold them in nicely as if I'm wrapping a present except for without a bow on top we're gonna have a paper clip on top right off the bat we're trying to make sure that everything is as centered as is possible i got this idea from murphy sewing patterns so when you buy murphy sewing patterns they they come already pre-cut on onion paper which kind of looks like baking parchment paper I'll do a separate video about Murphy patterns, but this is where I got the idea from. And so you just fold everything up, making sure you gather all of the tiny pattern pieces in the middle. And because this is baking parchment, if I want to sew this item again, I can just press it with an iron to straighten off those creases, which is pretty awesome. So I like to fold everything in just like so, and I try to make rectangles rectangular uh, shapes I uh, just like it that way and you're gonna grab the paper clip and in order to keep them from unfolding you just use a paper clip Murphy patterns don't have a paper clip though this was just something that I had to do because after a while I realized that they were unfolding critical component to this system actually working is making sure you have got easy access to the information so on the front facing a uh, bit of the folded pattern i like to write down the name of the magazine the month the pattern number more importantly as well as the size that i have traced out it's very important to know the size especially if you grade between sizes and also if you're loaning your patterns to your friends it's quite useful I also put in no seam allowances on there and that's because before I used to just add the seam allowances but now I don't so it's important for me to be able to know because I can't always remember everything and then I write down that it's a top or a dress or trousers and then the other thing that I like to do is to practice my fashion designer skills by just doing a very rudimentary sketch of the pattern itself and this is just so that I can have an idea of what the actual pattern is I used to be vain enough to think that I could remember what every single birder pattern I had sewn looked like but that's not the case so once we have our neatly folded envelope it goes into a jiffy envelope which has got um, all of the 12 months divided up into a grid system and the year number on there. This is how my system has evolved over the years. So for the eighth month, I will write down the number of the traced sewing pattern. And again, this is for easy access for me to see so that when I pull out that envelope, I can easily see that in 2020, those are the ones that I have traced out. And it goes into a box over there in my office. It's raining by the way, which is why I'm doing a lot of organization. <laughs> Here's an earlier system of mine that I had, and this was for 2015 Birda, and as you can see, it wasn't quite as organized, but it still kind of did the job. And there it goes, uh, stowed away into an old nappy bag <laughs> box, and I slot that um, up away over there. And that's it, guys. That is how I store my Birda traced magazines, and I hope that you found that useful. And if you did, do give it a big thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, do subscribe. I put out sewing related content every single week. And until I see you next time, guys, happy sewing. Bye.